Hi, Year 5, and welcome to your Spring 2P SAT unit, which is all about economic well-being and money, a topic I really, really would have loved to have done in primary school myself. So I hope you enjoy and learn lots of new things. Before we begin, uh, we're going to be seeking to answer our question, what role does money play in people's lives? Before we do that, we need to complete our knowing more and remembering more. Number one, deductions are taken from a person's earned income. Is that true or false? Number two, which of these deductions would you expect to see on a payslip? Pension, income tax, national insurance. And number three, what does value for money mean? Finally, number four, how can budgeting help a person's finances? Pause here to complete your knowing more, remembering more. How did you do? So our first lesson uh, is going to be about thinking about the role that money plays in people's lives. To be successful, we're going to explain how money impacts people's lives and choices. We're going to describe how income is calculated and we're going to explain why deductions are so important to our society. Key vocabulary that we know is the word salary, which is the money that's taken home by someone who works every month or weekly sometimes. Support, household, government and society. And the words we're going to meet today are the words income, which is money that comes in, deduction, money that's taken out, budget, tax, and the word pension. Why is money important? Money is important as it helps us to care and look after our family. It's important because it means that we can pay our bills and personal bills. And it's important because people need money to be able to maintain their livelihood and lifestyle. For example, buying food, clothes and maintaining a household. What role does money play in our lives? People need money to be able to maintain their livelihood and lifestyle, provide for their families and support their well-being. In the UK, people earn their money through their chosen career choices. Most are paid weekly or monthly. And the money they use must be able to support them until their next payday. When you do get paid, a range of deductions are taken out of a person's pay slip to pay for things like the pension, medical care and holidays. Right, so here is your first activity. Here's an example of what a typical pay slip looks like. So an adult who works and gets a taxable income would receive something that looks like this every month or every week. I would like you with your partner to look at the following. What is a deduction? So have a look here in this under the tab that says deduction. And then we see income tax and holiday. So what do you think this deduction means? What does gross pay mean? I would like you to think about why you think we might pay income tax and what does the word net pay mean? You can see it's different from gross pay. Why do you think that is? Have a conversation with your partner or if you're at home like me right now, then you can just have a think for yourself. Pause here to do that now. So income tax is where a contribution of your pay is given to the government. So a certain percentage of your income is taken from your pay slip and given to the government. The higher your average salary, the higher your income tax is. So the more you earn, the more you pay, the more tax you pay. Income tax is used to fund public services like the NHS, housing and roads. So when you see road works happening or uh, you see a new traffic lights go up, that's because people who pay their taxes have contributed money that has helped to pay for that new thing. Income tax is used to fund public services like the NHS, housing and roads, as I've said, repeating myself. It also pays for free medical care, safe roads and parks and affordable housing for those who need it. 
Your second activity, using the knowledge from this lesson, I would like you to think about each statement, statement below and each scenario and explain whether you disagree or agree with the statement. And if you do agree or disagree, you need to provide two to three examples for each justification. So three, two to three reasons why. So in A, it says, I shouldn't have to pay tax for services. I may not ever use, it's not fair. Person B says, how much money people have shouldn't affect them. Being happy is more important. And number, th uh, number three, no, C. C says, deductions in our income are important. They help society improve and support those who most need it. So which uh, statements do you agree or disagree with and why? Pause here to complete this task. Here's activity three. So we're going to try and help this imaginary Debbie pay her monthly bills. How much are her monthly deductions and how much can she reasonably save each month? So here we have a table. We have the money that she has come in, uh, her income, her costs and her balance. And the dates down the side, ranging from the 17th of April to the 5th of May. You can see that she received a salary on the 18th of May, which was 565 pounds and 27 pence. And here are all of her expenditures, all of her deductions. So based on this, how much are her monthly deductions and how much can she save each month? Pause here to complete this. Let's test our knowledge and see what we've learned. Number one. A deduction is money taken off your earnings before you're paid. Is that true or false? Number two, you can pay for goods by card and cash only. Number three, your state pension is taken from your income tax. True or false? And number four, people can only be paid monthly. You've learned this so that you can identify that people have different attitudes towards saving and spending money. You've also learned this so that you can explain what influences people's decisions and what makes something good value for money.